What? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Sure. How are you? Hi. I'm going to shut the comments off because we have so many questions for you. Amazing. And it's going to be an Instagram live lightning round. And if okay. Anybody, and if anybody can do that, that's you. Let's go, Queen. Let's um, go. I love seeing your face today because it's Wait, such a dreary day paint, in New York. I have paint in my hair. <laughs> What color paint do you have in your hair? It, it's it's actually it's a it's a very light blue. You can't really tell, but it's like a robin egg blue. Wow, wow. Um, it looks like it's white actually. Well, um, what was I gonna say to you? Let's first quickly talk about all your fun launches that are happening. Yes, because there's a lot. I, I like. I want to have an Ashley Longshore shop on Story and Rain. There's a lot of fun stuff that you're doing. Tell us what you're doing this week. Okay, so this is the busiest week of my year. Um, since summer, I've been painting my little small paintings, and I've got over 200 that I'm releasing on Wednesday morning um, at 7.30 to my VIPs, and then the link will go live on my social media about 9.30. Uh, I'm so 10. excited. I want one. I want one. I want one. And, and I have over 73 products limited edition products that I've done. So I've got these little thought jars. I've got these a beautiful placemat collection, a beautiful little decoupage trays that are all from my most recent collection. So it's a good time to get some, you know, special holiday gifts and artful things for your home. Curate yeah, I your think home. that your, your stuff makes great, great, great holiday gifts. Thank I you love so much. your cocktail napkins. Me too. And the you know, I'm tell napkin, napkins are very special. I well, think. I'm Southern too. So, yes. you know, I, I collect linens and I, you, you've got to have pretty cocktail napkins when your friends come over. You do, you do. It's, it's, it's a, it's a perfect extra touch. Okay. Let's get into this. Um, I am lightning round with Ashley Longshore. Um, episode 56 launches Woo! today. It's live. Um, it's really good. So everyone, please be sure to tune in, but let's get to it. Um, from Gina, have you ever woken up in the middle of the night inspired to paint? You know, I'm one of those people that wakes up at the crack of dawn with so much energy. And I go, I go, I go. And when the sun goes down, I kind of unwind. Um, but sometimes I do have ideas in the middle of the night and I'll roll over and I'll put them in my phone. And then <laughs> when I wake up the next morning, I just drink my coffee faster and I, I go crazy on my canvas. I love it. Um, I love this question from Vicky. What's the key to stepping into your confidence? That's a good one for you, Ashley. I, I think, you know, for me, when I didn't have two nickels to rub together and I realized I love to paint, I, I, I knew I wanted to be able to have a life where I could travel and curate the things that I want to, that inspire to have around me. And so um, I, I feel like when you realize you don't have anything to lose, um, when you realize you're your own best friend, um, then you, you, you go out there and you just, all you can do is shine as bright as you can and be yourself, you know? Yeah. yeah. This is a question for, I want, I'm curious. This is my own question. Have you seen the Gucci holiday gifting campaign? Uh, I, I, I won't lie. I watched a little bit of that Harry Styles video. <laughs> Um, it was inspired by a 90s um, office holiday party. And I was wondering if you. Oh, you know, I, I need to, I, to be honest, to I have been on my easel painting like a wild one. Where are you right now? I'm, I'm actually at my farm and I'm, um, this it's is a beautiful the farm. Um, yeah, this is outside on my little, gorgeous. yeah, I've got some disco balls and oh, it's gorgeous out Thanksgiving there. flowers left over. From I love that. I love that. Okay. This, I never ask these kinds of questions, but I feel like I can ask this question of you. Um, if you were an item of clothing or an accessory, what would you be? Describe in full detail. I mean, I, I think I've got to be a piece of jewelry because it always fits. It's timeless. Um, God, probably that or sunglasses. Um, I, I, I just think I, I'm so sentimental. And even if it's just like a little band or something that a dear friend gives you from a, a gumball machine, th there's some kind of energy in that. That yeah. um, It's just I, I have this little 
plastic emerald ring that one of my friends who unfortunately passed away gave me. And it's in my jewelry box. And I just think about him. I, it's just, sometimes I put it on my finger and just wander around my house. It's Is that I, the I, I inspiration? Think, you have an emerald printed bag, correct? Well, I mean, I just love emeralds, you but, love emeralds. but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like jewelry, jewelry is something that just, it holds stories and memories. And even if you buy that jewelry yourself, because I'm a big fan of that too. If you work oh, yeah. hard, there's no better diamond than a diamond you buy yourself. You That's know? right. That's right. Um, from Carlo, if you had to pick one favorite color, what would it be? Oh my God. It would be either red or pink, but God, God, I love pink. Pink yeah, just says, you said that on the podcast the other day. It just says love, it says happiness, it's inviting, it's beautiful, it's warm. Um, I, I love pink. From Jen, when you need to switch up your mood, what do you do? Um, I'll switch the music. I listen to music all day from the time I, woke, I wake up until the time I go to bed. Um, and really? I have like all day long like that? like to, all, to all day long, like. Um, right now, I'm listening to like jazzy Christmas when I wake up. So it'll be oh, a little that. Dean Martin. I and then that. I'll go into, uh, I, I love the new Taylor Swift folklore album. Everybody um, loves that album. It's, it's incredible. So I'll do that. And then I'll go into something like Roy Sheen Murphy. This got much more of a beat. And I'll just like kind of go ham, you know, um, into the afternoon. So, yep, yep. Um, this is another question. This is from me. Um, we didn't get to this on the podcast, so I want to ask you. You've been compared to Andy Warhol. Thoughts on that or him? Oh, I mean, Andy was spectacular. He he certainly found his niche, and the world fell in love with him. I, I think there's a certain amount of comfort in, in painting items that we're all familiar with. Um, and, and I certainly love, I love to do that. Um, but I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm Ashley. We ha we've already had our Andy, but I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that at all. It's, okay. it's a huge compliment. Yeah, Eric wants to know how long you typically spend creating a piece, or does it vary, and how so? It can absolutely vary. Right now, I've been working on a series. I haven't released them yet. It's my quarantine collection. Uh, a series of massive 96 by 72 pieces. I have nine of them right now. And I've been working on those for a couple of months. Um, but I, you know, I aspire to paint as, as fast as Picasso. You know, a lot of times he did six or seven paintings a day. So, um, you know, I've got to work on my craft in order to do that. We actually had another question about along those lines about has your creative, let's see, um, from Will, has, has your, crea your ideas and your inspiration been shut down on some level or livened up during the pandemic? Okay. It was very, very, very challenging in the beginning of all of this because I feel like I thrive on being around people and traveling and seeing new things and going out to dinner and hearing different perspectives about stuff. Um, and also just the fear and anxiety of all of this. Um, you know, I, I'm not alone in saying that it's been absolutely terrifying, but I think when I realized I needed to be outside more and spend more time in nature. I really felt a calm and I was able to go back and start to think about um, how my life has changed, how this year has changed me, my weaknesses, places that, that I really need to grow as a person, as an artist. Um, and so, you know, my, my new collection, again, is my quarantine collection. And I think it'll say a lot about being in your own bubble and finding your own your own beauty in the world. Wow, I can't wait to see that. Um, another pandemic related question, and, and I like this um, from Dina. What kind of masks do you wear, and do you make your own? Have you, you know, I have I have not made my own masks. Ashley Longshore. Um, I, I, but I know, but I'm just like I'm not gonna do it. This thing is gonna be over. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I, I have that. so many friends that have sent me masks. Um, my friend Andy Old Iron, I don't know if you if you follow him, but he yep. does all of these sequin pieces, and he sent me all of these great masks. And then my friend Karen over at Armorier, 
who makes all the great sunglasses. Oh, I love, yeah. I commissioned um, big bedazzled smiles from her. And then my friend, uh, Big Chief, I commissioned him uh, to make me these incredible beaded masks that, you know, I'll frame eventually that are, are art. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. You frame them for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. What, from Renee, which of your own pieces is a favorite right now? Does that I, ebb and flow for you, Ashley? Do you have times yes. where you just fall yes. in love with a collection again and then move on to something else? Absolutely. Like uh, um, earlier this summer, I did a Mylar balloon collection. And I have one that says, don't be a cunt. And I have <laughs> one that uh, I have pussy and bussy. Yeah. And I kept both of those and put them in my powder room. Um, I just I just really love them because I, I needed a party. So I surround myself with, with those things and it makes me feel, you know, happy right now. Yeah, absolutely. And Stacy, I li like this question too. What was the first piece you ever created and where is it? Okay. Um, this is hilarious. So they were acid bears, Grateful Dead acid bears. Oh, of you know, course. Of with course. their little, oh yeah. Um, and they're at my father's lake home. They're hanging in my bedroom up there. They are. Oh, that's so good that you have those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're ridiculous. <laughs> Leah wants to know what your hobbies are outside of work and art. Do you have any? Yes. I feel like you spend a lot of time on your art. So do you even have I any? spend a lot of time on my art. I love to play the guitar. Um, I'm also an avid art collector. So when I'm not um, painting my own art, I'm, I'm researching other artists. Um, I have a, a artist that I love right now. Her name is Nora Martin. Um, and then another artist named Marcus Ackerson um, that I, I just bought a couple of his pieces that are amazing. So I, I, I literally try to sell art just so I can buy art. I hear you. I, actually, that was a question from Danny was which artists do you follow personally and why? You just named a few. Oh, Somebody, I mean, there, there's so many. So many, I bet. Um, there's there's you, probably, out of the people that I follow on my feed, I would say 70% of them are, are, are all artists. I, you, I, I love, I love, 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 love curating as much art as I can into every different part of my life, Yeah, including when my you, social media. <laughs> yeah. And when you travel, do you visit, are you like one to visit art museums? Do you do that? Or Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, I was just um, in New York a couple weeks ago, and I went and saw that incredible fashion exhibit at the oh, Met. We talked and it that, was yeah. jaw-dropping. Absolutely jaw-dropping. Jaw yeah, yeah, it was incredible. Someone in the chat actually just asked to see those acid bears. You know what? I'll get my dad to take a picture and I'll put it I on love the it. story. Okay, good. We'll post it. We'll post it on our Instagram. Okay. Um, what else? Um, what was it like on Project Runway from Andrea? We talked a little bit about that on the podcast. You should definitely Oh my God. That. First of all, I love that show because it celebrates creativity. All of those contestants mostly band together and they're very supportive of each other. It's just a good natured show. That was so much fun. The, the the judges, the other judges were so magnificent. Of course, Christian is a is a dear friend. Um, that that was just a blast. I, I loved every minute of it. And and the contestants were unbelievable. And I'd never put my art on fabric before. So that was so really, cool. really fun to see what they did with that. And Ellen, another question about well, along the same sort of lines, do you watch reality TV? I mean, you're you know, I do. I, I, I get in a little bit of my, you know, the, the Great British Baking Show. We talked about that. Um, I, I, you know, I used to love those housewives, um, but I, I haven't really been watching much of that. Um, there's a new show on HBO Max called Full Bloom that's about these amazing floral designers. I, I really like that kind of stuff. Uh, over the last 10 years, I've kind of been turned off by shows where they pit women against each other and you know it's a bunch of drunk women trying to scratch each other's eyes out or yell at another woman for not wearing underwear under her mouglier i mean <laughs> you can't wear underwear with mouglier good 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 one that's a good one um let's see i love this question anya who in your life makes you laugh the most you're so funny ashley like who in your life makes you laugh my dad is fucking hilarious. Is he really? What's his my name? Like? My dad is, 
he just he's he's just he's just hilarious he's wide open absolutely wide open um i would also say too um there's so many people on my team that are hilarious patry aka the heiress billionaires like for example my heart hurts for the fact that she and i have not been able to be on all these adventures this year you know because we we really we have so much fun as a team out on the road and meeting people and you know being being up to antics and Venmo challenges and all that kind of stuff. So Venmo she's challenges. hilarious. I love that. I love that Venmo challenge. Um, what's a Venmo challenge? A Venmo challenge is where I would challenge you. Let's say I would say twenty five dollar Venmo challenge. You got to go ask the waiter at the restaurant where the shitter is instead of the bathroom. Oh, that's and so it's like, funny. Are you, you were just like that for 25 bucks. If I, if I dare you, if I say for 50 bucks, will you fake slip in the lobby of the hotel? Oh and, my, you know, you're like, scream when you do Patrick, it. you're killing me right now. That is hilarious. <laughs> Can I come it's on the fun. road with you guys? I yes. Love- it's so fun. I want to come on the road with you guys. Um, let's see. A uh, couple final questions. Let's see. I hope we got to everything. Um, we kind of did. Um, I have some final questions for you. Okay. Um, any words for Kamala and Joe? Just p- peace. I- I'm. I'm so excited for just just peace and unity. Because here's the thing. It's okay if you're a Republican. It's okay if you're a Democrat. It, it's okay to be all of those things. But we need to be united. And I'm just hoping for um, positive, uplifting, you know, u- u- unity in this country. Because we are all together. And on the flip side, do you have any words for Donald Trump? Bye. All right, Ashley. Bye. Don't let the that- door hit you where the good Lord split you. On that note, um, thanks so much for uh, this today. Episode 56 is live. The link should be in this um, right here. Um, It'll also go up um, everywhere. Podcasts. You can find podcasts. It'll be on our social media. And I love our interview. I thought it was so great. It was marvelous. And thank you so much for this opportunity. And I wish I didn't have all this stuff going on so we could no, pop a bottle of something and I really, really talk about everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. No, we, we, that was good. Um, and I'm so excited for all your launches this week. It's so exciting. Woo! We got to get busy, girl. Oh, Bri- Brian Atwood's in the chat. And, and that's, it's, I love that because Brian, we, we did, of course, we do our like lightning round at the end of our podcast and uh, your shoes are her fa- one of her favorites. Remember? And not you only that. that he is one of my favorite, favorite human beings. He is such a kind, God damn, he's handsome, <laughs> handsome, fun, joyous, talented human being. And um, I just love him to death. Um, wait, Ashley, are you, are you partaking in any like any holiday shopping or sales or any of that good stuff? You know, I, I've started buying some Christmas presents. I am looking for a, uh, the perfect gift to give to, you know, my like special quarantine team that has been so supportive and incredible to me this year. Um, any suggestions? Oh, I, we're like, we're putting together our gift guide now. We're going to roll out our gift guide for the next two weeks. Please email me that. Because I will. I, I'm looking for stuff that isn't just, you know, I want something thoughtful and special things that people won't throw away. But at the same time, I mean, we've all got to be kind of frugal right now because shit's weird, you know, so. Absolutely. Shit's as much as I'd love to buy all my friends a, a Birkin bag and a fucking G6, it ain't going to happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody what you wrap your, your gifts with. We talked about that on the podcast. Um. Well, I mean, I, I you wrap said something it. about ribbon that says F-U-C-R. Well, yeah, I've got fuck you ribbon, fuck off ribbon. I've got ribbon that has the middle finger on it. Um, I've got stickers. I've got, you know, hell. Sometimes I'll get drunk and just yank it out of the bag and give it to them that way. You never know. <laughs> All right, Ashley, I'll let you go. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Love you. Love Good you. To see you.